Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am here to swatch the Morgan Taylor Disney Villains collection for you guys. I actually have three of these colors on as a manicure right now, and I'll share those first, I believe. But I will also be swatching them on swatch sticks so you guys can see what they look like live. So if you are interested in watching what these look like swatched, FYI, they are absolutely beautiful, then just go ahead and stay tuned. I have a little swatch wheel here. I ordered this from the Nail Supply Inc. website earlier in the year. It's just the traditional swatch wheel, and I'm going to put all the Morgan Taylor polishes on here. So let's go ahead and get started for you guys. Try to make this video as quickly as I can, but these colors are so pretty. I'm probably going to have to ramble about them a little bit. The first one I think we're going to show off is what I have on my nails. I have this little Christmassy manicure going on. Um, and that's what it looks like. Get my thumb in there. I do, for some reason, have a little bit of tip wear, and I've had this on since Saturday. Today's Monday, so that's a little disappointing. But anyway, I have three colors from this collection, and what I have on is the first one, which is on my thumb and in or my thumb and ring finger here. This is just one bite. This is supposed to be based off of the snow princess snow white so i did not know that about this collection i will mention that in the description box with what disney character goes with each polish i'll try to remember if i can but this is just one bite we're going to go ahead and swatch that one this is a beautiful polish by the way and each brush in this collection has the amazing wide brushes thankfully try to get as close as I can for you guys so you can see exactly what this looks like. This was fully opaque. I didn't have enough on my brush. This is fully opaque and two coats on my nails. Um, it applied beautifully as you can see here. It wore really really well. That is the first coat of that one. Then I'm going to go in with the next color that I have on. This is from I think this it has to do with Cruella de Vil from the 101 Dalmatians. This is fashion above all. It is just a very metallic silver, and I have that on my middle finger as an accent nail. Very nice formula, opaque and two coats. I probably could have gotten it opaque in just one coat, but I put two coats on for all of it. So I'm going to go ahead and open that one up for you guys and get that one swatched. And it's a gorgeous metallic polish. This collection is on the Nails Inc. website for $2.85 per bottle if you are interested in any colors that you guys see here and you don't have them. I highly suggest trying to pick them up because I honestly don't know if you can get them locally anymore. This collection came out, I want to say it came out last fall, I think. So that is the first swatch. It's definitely going to show off a little more sheer since my swatch stick swatch wheel is not clear like some of my other swatch sticks I have but that's the first coat of fashion above all and then the last color I have on I was so excited to wear this one this is mistress of mayhem and it is this gorgeous green with I think those are gold or silver glitter pieces in there and I have it I don't know if the camera is going to zoom in probably not let me see there we go I have it on my pinkies and index finger, and it is such a gorgeous color. It was opaque in two coats. I wanted the collection mainly for this color, so this is so, so pretty. And you guys, you won't believe it when I swatch it. It's absolutely stunning. I was feeling a Christmas manicure, and these polishes came just at the nick of time. I hurried up and painted my nails on Saturday night and thought, I've got to do this. Didn't know if it was going to work out or not, but the manicure looks beautiful. So this is the first coat of Mistress of Mayhem. It has kind of like a, it's a green base. It's almost like a foresty green. There's the first coat of that one. My swatch wheel is not making these colors look as vibrant and gorgeous as it does on the nails but hopefully the second coat will fix that and then these next three colors are ones I have not tested out yet I haven't even swatched them so I think I have the correct ones here yes there is this gorgeous burgundy shimmer polish this is in 
you're in my world now. And I think, if I recall correctly, I want to say this is from the Princess and the Frog movie. Um, again, I'll try to put everything in the description box because I may be getting these inaccurate. And I, if I am, I do apologize for that. There is a gentleman in the Princess and the Frog. I've never actually seen the movie, <laughs> so I don't know who it is. Um, and I will try to put that down below or here on the video somewhere. So this is what that one looks like. It's a gorgeous, deep, dark, like shimmer polish. It's absolutely stunning. And I haven't even swatched these last three, so we'll see how they they swatch on here. I did not know, I wondered when this came out, how the villains... Oh, oh. Oh, you guys, do you see that? <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> back up here. Forget what I was just saying. This is so pretty. That is, wow, that's gorgeous. Okay. <laughs> Lost Trevor. I train of thought there. Um, I don't know if my camera is doing it justice. Let me see if I can turn on my light here and see that you can see it a little bit better. I It's, it's a sunny day out, but my lighting is not being very cooperative. So, the, oh my goodness, can you guys see this? That is so stunning. So pretty. That might have to be the next polish I wear. Again, this is You're In My World Now. <laughs> I don't know what I was saying um, before I lost it with <laughs> that swatch. Anyway, um, like I said, The Princess and the Frog, I don't think I've ever seen the movie, and I'm not sure. It's a doctor or something or other in the movie, uh, and I can't pronounce the man's name, so I will try to either put it in the description. Uh, it'll be in the description for sure. I'll try to do that or either put it here in the video if I can when I edit this, but anyway. Oh boy, you can lose a train of thought awful quick when you're swatching nail polishes. <laughs> but anyway, um, that color is gorgeous. Oh, before I forget, this color... Let me screw it back on because I was getting ready to swatch it and I didn't even tell you guys which one this was. This is like a duochrome. This is Make em Squirm and this polish is based on uh, Ursula from Ariel, the Disney movie. I was like, oh, okay, that makes complete sense because <laughs> of the character she is. So I was excited to find that out. But this is a gorgeous duochrome polish. Definitely different than I thought it was going to be. Not that it's... it's disappointing by any means. It looks so pretty and so unique to my collection. I am excited about this. So again, that is Make em Squirm. Um, but I have not, like I said, this one hasn't even been swatched. I've seen swatches of it here on YouTube, but I haven't uh, seen what it looks like in person. Okay, let's see if we can get her to focus here. Oh, that's pretty. I thought maybe this was going to be closer to the Halloween polish from China Glaze. That's the first coat, isn't that? It's just that like lilac shimmer. It is so pretty and you see hints of green, blue shimmer in there, that shift. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, anyway, um, I thought this color was going to be closer to, what is that one called from, I haven't worn it yet in my collection. It's from the China Glaze collection. Um, it's that gray purpley duochrome. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. So this last one in the collection is just this gray cream. And again, I was getting ready to swatch it before I showed you what it was. This is Smoke the Competition. And I believe this is from the movie Hercules. This has to do with... I can't think of the man's name. Because I'm honestly sure I would butcher it. I don't recall what the man's name is. But I'll try to put it in the video if I can. It's just a beautiful cray... cray gray cream polish. Not that I needed another gray because I have, I think, two in my collection. Um, but these were $2.85, you guys. If you're, like I said, if you're in the market for these polishes and you haven't picked them up, that website is definitely going to be your go-to. Yeah, this is, see how wide these brushes are on here? I love the new Morgan Taylor brushes. I have some of these polishes that I've gotten are not the wide brushes and that's kind of disappointing. So there are all six of those colors. I'm going to let these all set and dry and then we will come back with round num coat number two for each of these. So I'll be back in a little bit. All right guys, we are back for coat number two of each of these polishes. The first one I'm going to go in with is this red and this is just one bite. This is a beautiful red with lots and lots of shimmer. 
And again, it's fully opaque and two coats. I'm going to go in with a little heavier coat on this one because with the white base of the swatch wheel, it doesn't look quite as opaque as it does in person. But that is two coats, gorgeous polish. And again, it is also what I have on my manicure so you can kind of see what it looks like. Um, I need to touch it up for some reason. I get tip wear awful easy with my polishes, even though I use a base coat and I have tip wear again. But anyway, there is just one bite. It is a gorgeous red shimmer polish. Very pretty. I thought it was similar to one I have from China Glaze, and I may do a separate video on that and try to swatch them side by side if I can. It's called Red Pearl. I thought that was similar to this color. Um, but actually, my husband agreed they don't have the same undertone, so they are not 100% identical, but I will do the separate video on that. I wasn't going to buy this red from Morgan Taylor because of that, but anyway. Um, the next one is this metallic silver. This is... which one is this? <laughs> what are you called? Fashion Above All. This is based off of Cruella de Vil from the 101 Dalmatians. I cannot think today. This is gorgeous. It is fully opaque on the nails. A beautiful formula. As you see, it has the wide brush to it. It is just absolutely stunning. And again, I have it on my middle finger there. I have some ridges in a couple of my nails, and you can definitely see it with this metallic polish. Um, but anyway, that's besides the point. So there's two coats of Fashion Above All. And then my next polish is this gorgeous green. This was fully opaque in two coats. On the nail, I could have probably gotten away with one coat. It was just that stunning. Just look how gorgeous and dark this color is. That second coat really, really darkens this polish up. It is so, so stunning. I was so excited to get it. I couldn't wait to put it on the nails. And I was busy over the weekend and did not get a chance to polish them like I wanted to, but there is two coats of Mistress of Mayhem, that gorgeous green. They're just beautiful, you guys. These are so opaque, so stunning. That next polish is this shimmery, like, plummy purple. This is You're In My World Now, based off of Princess and the Frog. I think. I think I'm correct on that. I did some research to try to get some info. My camera is definitely not going to do these colors justice, but they are, if you could see that gorgeous, gorgeous shimmer in there. It is so, so stunning. They're so pretty. These two here, the shimmer that's in both of them is jaw-dropping. It is just absolutely gorgeous. Then we're going to go in with Make Them Squirm. That is that purple duochrome. And I don't know on camera if you can see that gorgeous blue to green shift. It is so, so pretty. So we're going to go in with the second coat. This one might be fully opaque in two coats. It does look like it will be. It's actually so gorgeous, you guys. This is so pretty. And that formula, look at that. It just glides on so beautifully absolutely stunning. I cannot wait to wear that one. Then the last one is that gray cream, which is Smoke the Competition. This is just a standard, like, medium gray cream, gorgeous formula. And like I said, I love the wide brushes on their polishes. I do have a few polishes from Morgan Taylor that don't have wide brushes, and I shared that in my last video when I shared this, these polishes for the haul I did. But there is two coats for each of those stunning polishes. They are so pretty. I don't think any of them need three coats, to be honest. They're just so pretty. and I can't say that enough. They're gorgeous, and that's why I saw these three here. I knew I needed to do this little gorgeous manicure. I love it. I thought it's so Christmassy, so fun. So yeah, that is the Morgan Taylor Disney Villains polishes. All swatched. I'll put links down below for each one. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment in the comment section down below. I hope you guys have a great week so far. We'll see you later.